like let's say I do a a Google search and I were to find uh, a thousand articles that say uh, the that the Earth is flat, and I was only able to find eight hundred that said the Earth was round. Can I reasonably assume that the Earth is flat then? Okay, here, hold on. If I can tell, your head is quite large, and um, if that means anything, that means that you have a brain in there, right? All right, all right, all right. So, so I I have this idea, right? So, um, you know, you know how like, um, uh, I know the the vegan server, right, 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 um. So I was uh, so I was doing I was doing my my little research, um while while playing Crunker.io. Anyway, um, so I was like, so when they cut down lots of fields and take away animals' homes to plant mm-hmm. like soybeans and corn and crap for like vegan burgers or whatever, like doesn't that kill a lot more animal lives than just like one cow? Or like one chicken. Okay, that's well. That's a great question, and I could definitely answer it as a vegan activist, but I'm not gonna because we're doing street epistemology. But oh, maybe we what we could do, yeah, yeah. But uh, sorry, sorry, you might have joined late. But yeah, we're doing this certain thing, and you can stay up on here though. We might be able to turn your question into a claim, and then um, we can interview you where we just ask questions about your claim to see what you believe, why you believe it, and if you have good reasons for believing it. So basically, if your question is, like we could basically maybe turn it into a claim like um, vegans also kill animals, um, or you know, maybe um, it could be more animals are killed by vegans than by eating one cow or something like this. I don't know if, that sounds interesting to you if you want to do something like that and then we'll just ask you questions about it sounds good okay cool let's try that and then if you want after that conversation maybe then i i can give you answers as a vegan activist to actually answer that specific question for you does that sound good all right cool so like right. um so so matt and juggling lessons and pierce uh let's uh let's let's do the thing <laughs> okay. What is this thing in question? Street epistemology. So it's oh, just yeah. it's just where I'm gonna we're just gonna ask you some questions. All right. And it will be some probing questions um about your epistemology. Right. Yeah. So it's about yeah. I was in okay. a I was in a program at school that specialized in uh in probing questions. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's for uh, suicide awareness. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I saved absolutely nobody because there were no cases in our school. But anyway, okay, yeah, continue. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, I guess what is your confidence levels, or what is your claim, actually, I guess? Um, let's, let's clarify that. So maybe um, based off what you, you, your question you asked, uh, do you think it's the case that uh, planting, like, uh, vegan foods like, uh, I don't know, soy and Stuff like that. Like chickpeas and Mm -hmm. stuff that goes into the thing, yeah? Yeah, like uh, that might harm animals uh, more than like... Yeah, because like like when when you plant all this soy, right? You know, bugs and like deer Mm -hmm. and rabbits and raccoons or you know whatever tiny fuzzy creature um they're gonna come over there they're gonna be like ooh free soy geez I gotta get in on some of this Mm -hmm. free it's not gonna be around forever right? Because that's how Mm -hmm. animals think yeah. Or so I assume. I watched like one documentary on National Geographic. So anyway, um, so right, they're gonna they're gonna be all like, um, they're gonna be like, oh, this is this is nice, but like farmers, they're like, hey, stop eating my soy. This is the we need this. We need to make money off of this. Um, but then the pesticides in the soy and stuff, right? I know it's not harmful to humans, right? But you know that it can kill bugs and bugs are still life too right i mean not that i care about bugs there's a spider on my window just you know um but like that kills a lot of bugs and then these pesticides right 
and the mass farming can destroy animals homes right like like gophers or whatever they live in the ground gotcha. you plant over their entire place you know what i'm saying okay. imagine someone went over to your house bulldozed all over it gotcha and do you believe that this is uh is worse than like um uh eating cows and pigs or is it equivalent I mean, or i mean so I think, in a sense, it's the equivalent, but at the same time, it's worse, because, like, okay. you're killing gophers, hares, destroying deer's homes, you know, all of this, owls, and, uh, for, gotcha. I don't know, raccoons and shit, right? Okay. Um, but then, you kill one cow, one life is one life, as, um, as Pac-Man has taught me. So, you know what I'm saying? One life is one life, right? Gotcha. And, uh, and like you're you're destroying all these deer's homes, gophers, like a lot of animals that die in the process of getting the soy, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I think I I think I got I think I I'm picking up what you're putting down. I I think I understand yeah. your claim here. Yeah. Um, how yeah, confident was... are you that that this is either equivalent or or worse? I'm pretty confident that it's worse because like you're killing a lot more than just like one cow. Okay. And and plus, if you only if you only buy um, meats and uh, and pro and meat products and dairy from places where they're like free range, you know, grass fed, they have a nice little life, you know. Okay. Oh crap! My friend's calling me. I'm gonna just dismiss that. Um, but right. Um, so you're killing a lot of uh, or no, you're not. Hold on. Damn, stop stop calling me, you absolute weirdo. Damn, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm back. So right, um if you're if you're getting uh like stuff from uh C1 Comet from like local farms, right? Like let's say you're getting lots of stuff from like local farms, right? Mm -hmm. And they're treating animals very good. Like I know that the um I think is Muslims, they eat only halal meat. And that's like they they treat the animals as best as they can before they die to become meat and food like that. They treat them as well as they possibly can, right? You know what I'm saying? They give them huh? the best life, right? Okay. And I think that that, and especially killing them in a humane way, okay? Mass farming, they don't really kill them in a humane way. Sure, they kill them quickly, but it's not humane, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Keeping them in these cages, mass farms, you know what I'm saying? And if you, mm -hmm. I know that's more expensive. I'm a child. I don't got that sense of money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, <clears throat> you know, if you really, um, I know that's more money, but like, even if you buy it, right, right? Even if, if you just eat meat a couple times a week, you know what I'm saying? To the point where you're not like eating it every single day, just buy it uh, like once or twice a week. Which I mean, like once or twice a week, eating the meat and not getting this like mass produced stuff, then I think that would be better. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh -huh. like, if you're not buying from these massive companies, right, then <laughs> they're gonna have less sales. I know that's like one person, you know what I'm saying? Just one guy. I think we might uh, might need to refocus here for a, for a moment. We might be drifting drifting away. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with regards to um, to the to the fields with the you know the almonds and the soy and the yeah. chickpeas or whatever, right? Versus like the the farms, even the um, the nice farms you were talking about, right? Yeah, nice. Farms. Yeah. What what could you learn that would uh, change your mind? From like thinking that the uh, the fields are worse, and that the uh, the the farm is better. I mean, because look, these fields they're like planted over acres and acres of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a lot of ground. You know, I think personally to change my mind on that, they should go around right and um and like check out the um the areas, make sure there's no animals there first. Okay right make sure there's no sure. animals there and then um you can start planting your almonds and your soy and all of that all of that stuff right because if there's uh -huh. no animals there you're not you're not hurting them and even then if there are animals there you can relocate them to i don't know an animal sanctuary or something where they can live out the rest of their life 
without the fear of um possibly dying from industrial farming. If, if you were to learn that, Ow, I uh, my finger. Damn. Oh. Ah, that's fine. If you were to learn that this was already being done, that uh, farmers were only either um, planting where there's no animals, or if they were relocating them, or you know stuff like that. If you were to learn that that was the case, uh, would you think that the fields with all the you know the plants uh, was better than the the farms? Okay, but here, here's where here's where I'm gonna stop you real quick right there. Is like here's the thing, farmers a lot of them don't really care. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was they, I was just asking they their, hypothetically. They get their money. They they sell their soy or whatever. Good days work. Blah blah blah. To sleep on a hay bale. Um, you know that I don't. Know, I mean, I know that some of them are doing it. But it's not mm. a lot of them. It's just like a select few, and it's usually those companies that make those um those like grass fed free range um nice pasteurized eggs that I find at Target. If if you were to learn that the practices that um to grow the plants, the almonds, whatever. Um, if you were to learn that that practice doesn't actually harm a whole lot of animals, let's say for, you know, 10 almond trees, it's like, uh, you know, just one chipmunk or two, um, would, would you think? Still, that's still two lives compared to one cow. Um, and if, um, if Miss Gamboa from kindergarten taught me correctly, uh, two is more than one. I'm wondering if, uh. If like ten almond trees are equivalent to one cow, or is is ten almond trees equivalent to like hundred cows? How could we figure that out? I mean, here, look, here, you could look at the statistics. I'm not going to because I don't got that kind of time. I gotta go to school tomorrow. Hmm. Um, um, by school, I mean I am not going to school. Summer break. Woohoo! Okay, but anyway. Um, so right, look, so you're taking away these animals' homes, right, right? Mm -hmm. You're taking away their homes, planting the soy, almond trees, blah, 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 chickpeas, okay, right? And then, okay, then, um, like, like you said, if that kills one or two chipmunks, that is 10 or 20 or like some number in between chipmunks dead. Okay, that's more than one cow. Okay. And last time I checked, chipmunks are cuter than cows. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm, sure I'm very people. very uninformed about uh, how plants how how these things work, where almonds come from, where soybeans come from. I, I'm being genuinely honest. I don't know much about it. If I, think I were soybeans come from like soy leaves or something. Yeah. I well, know. I know that, but um, like how they're planted and and what the yes. process is. How could I learn? What could I do to to learn, um, like how that goes, and if uh, if there are animals that are being kicked off off of where they live for these plants to be planted? How could I determine what exactly is going on? I mean, you could like search it up on Google. Okay. Yeah. Um, or YouTube, or, like being it. That that's your that's more your okay. speed. Okay. Do you think that would be the best way to figure it out? I mean, you could go on National Geographic or something. Okay. That might be yeah. a good way. Check okay. multiple sources. If multiple sources are saying the same thing, most likely it's true. If, like, one of them is saying something completely different from the other ones, check to see if other ones are saying that. Then make an educated guess. Then you'll find out. Okay. Yeah. So if someone really wanted to know what was true, that would be probably the, the route to go. Yeah. Um, okay. Is, is that what you have done? No, me personally, I don't got that kind of time. Okay. But I'm sure you could find something like that. So if this was something that was really important to you, that would be the way to that you would go, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, here, let me let me look it up right now. Okay. Um, okay. does planting almonds? How the hell do I spell almond? It's L A L M O N D S. Okay, yeah, I got it. 
Does planting almonds and soy and random um right, that's pretty much all I got. Vegan <laughs> stuff. I think you did a good job. <laughs> hurt uh hold on man, stop laughing. That's mean. No, he's not no, laughing. No, he's laughing at me. Good. No, that's me. Appears, appears. I'm surprised he spelled almonds correctly. First of all, more that's fantastic. Vegan on, hurt more <laughs> animals than murdering one cow <laughs> for a Big Mac. Uh, 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 you got you got Chat GPT on there or what? No, no, I got I got surge activism. HTTPS slash www dot surgeactivism dot com. Debunk. Okay, check it out. Do vegans kill more animals through crop deaths? Okay, here, let me share my screen. Everyone needs to get an eye full of this. Oh, no, I can't stream onto this. That's yeah. okay. You can just tell us. Just read it to us real quick. Just okay. read us a little bit. Okay. Ted Nungent from, from South Africa says that... Uh -huh, uh, here, hold on. Those who follow a vegan lifestyle are responsible for more animal deaths through the harvesting of crop and use of fertilizers and pesticides than people who consume animals directly. We do see this quite often, and it's about time we take a good look at the argu argument being made, our animals being killed, blah, blah, especially soy. All of the crops to choose, in fact, around 75 to 80% of the soy that is produced in, is used as farmed animal feed only 6% is actually used for human consumption. Therefore, if you are upset about animals being killed, soy farming, then stop funding the industries that use three quarters of all the soy that is grown. <clears throat> Nungent is not the only one who has made this argument. Ken Creaser, a uh, stupid name. Um, okay. Yeah. I think yeah. that's good. That's good for now. That's good for now. Um, but thank you. That was good reading and everything. Uh, I'm going to post uh, a link for you here. Um, can I, can I ask one last in... question? Can I do one last thing? Oh, yeah. 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 So, sorry. Go ahead. So, uh, uh here. So you found a, a article that uh, you know uh, states uh, a claim, and uh, I'm not saying that it's wrong. It, it could be correct. I I personally don't don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. If uh, if I were to to go on Google and uh, search up for an article, and I found an article that said like the exact opposite, that was claiming that uh, that. Um, vegans actually kill a lot less uh less life than um than meat eaters um how could yeah. we determine uh which article was uh being truthful i mean me personally uh you could you could number one check more websites to see which one says one or the other and if you find a majority that say one or over the other, then you could reasonably assume that that one is correct. Is is the majority of the the articles always going to be the ones that are correct? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. I was reading something. Oh, sorry. Um, is like if you search and you find like the majority of articles uh, say that this is true, X is true. Yeah. Does that does that necessarily mean that X is true? Is that the most reliable way to figure that well, out? I mean, are you going to go out to an almond farm and sit there for a year and count the statistics? No, I don't think so. You don't got that kind of time on your hands, neither do I. Sure. So looking on Google is probably one yeah. of the most reasonable ways. But I guess, like, let's say I do a, a Google search and I were to find... Uh, a thousand articles that say uh, the, that the Earth is flat, and I was only able to find 800 that said the Earth was round. Can I reasonably assume that the Earth is flat, then? Okay, here, hold on. If I can tell, your head is quite large, and um, if that means anything, that means that you have a brain in there, right? Now, <clears throat> just because you walk on the Earth and it's flat, doesn't mean it's necessarily flat. Mm -hmm. like, like, look at this, look at this, look at this. When you, when you go to the beach, I don't know if you go to the beach, but still, when you go to the beach, you see the horizon, right, right, right? You're looking, and you see the Earth curve a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, then, that would, that would, uh, that would probably mean that the Earth is round. 
uh, the earth is the earth is not flat we have disproven that for many years okay i, I think it was like the greeks or the romans or something so it was important yeah i hear you yeah so i think oh, guess I think what maybe oh yeah also, i think maybe we, what... we invite um uh goofy uh krill to the to the stage please uh maybe we'll later but let's just focus on this we're, we're almost done with you for now but I think Matt wanted to jump in real quick. Yeah, just I think what Pierce was trying was asking was something more like, is there anything about the number of studies that relates to the truth of the matter? So if we had more studies that uh, in number, if we had a thousand studies that said uh, vegans kill less animals, and we only had eight hundred studies that said. Uh, meat eaters kill less animals. Is there anything about the number of those studies that would tell us whether or not one of the claims is true? Okay, now, again, like I said, because if you were listening, you could recall that I said you can take an educated guess, right? Right? So taking so, an educated guess, right? Mm -hmm. you, you check the data, right? right? I think this is the process for making a spreadsheet or something. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to sixth grade math class. Um, so then technically, like you find the data, okay? You find the, the median or something. Uh, and then like, uh, it's, not, it's not about finding what you think could, could possibly be the answer. Ask other people if they think it's the right answer. And then if, okay. a, if a majority thinks it is, then, I mean, it's probably the right answer. Can I ask, like, what if, what if we had um, 10 websites saying one thing and then eight websites saying uh, the opposite thing? But what if some of the websites are more credible than other of the, the other websites? Like, what if the eight websites are really credible, really good sources, but there's only eight of them, but then you've got ten bad sources over here. Is ten, 10. bad sources better than eight good sources? No. Quality over quantity any day, because look at this, look at this, right? So, if these credible websites, I don't know, like, freaking ABC or, uh, I don't know, uh, freaking CNN or whatever... If they're saying something, it's most likely true. They've been correct about lots of things. You can check the statistics. I'm not going to. You can. Um, and then you find here that they're that they're correct on a lot of things. And then these ten uncredible websites, right? You could check their information on a credible website, and then if that's true, then you can assume that it's that maybe it's not well known. But it's but you can you find that what they're saying is true. Okay. Yeah. Going back, um, no, I, I just for clarity, I don't believe the Earth is flat. Just FYI, this is just an yeah, example. Thank, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, I, yeah. listening to what you I were saying, I'm going to kind of recap what I think you were saying. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong. You were saying that even if I was to find you know a whole bunch more websites saying the Earth was flat than saying that it's round. Um, you kind of got into it. You were kind of—I think what you were saying was like the evidence is actually more important than the articles. If I yeah. was understanding correctly, okay. Yeah. Cool. Evidence is more important than articles. Articles is letters on a website or a magazine or whatever. Okay. Evidence is letters also on a website, a magazine, but it's evidence. Okay. So going back kind of the farms, you would rather have the evidence rather than the articles probably, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's all I got. Okay, cool. All right, well, great job um, to everybody who asked questions and thank you for bringing a claim up here for us to ask you about. That was very nice of you and you were uh, uh, pretty nice during most of it. Uh, and, <laughs> I like that guy. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll say that just to uh, really answer the question, though, um, like that website was saying, because um, you did find a good source when you looked up that information about, um, you know, do vegans kill more animals uh, through soy and all that stuff. 
like uh so i tagged you in in the chat i'm gonna yeah it's still there i'm gonna post it again and this is uh you should read the first page of this document that i made called 100 vegan environment sources um and i'm just gonna read a couple of statistics to you real quick so According to Yale University, it takes 25 calories of plants to make one calorie of beef because the cow has to eat plants for 18 months to get them up to slaughter weight. So 25 times. So the amount of like you're right that like there are little bugs and maybe some critters and stuff, little animals that get killed when we make food like soy or rice or, you know, whatever. But the cow that's eating the, the cow that you that we kill to eat the beef that cow had to eat 25 times more than the amount of beef they're creating and so that's like 25 times more or something like that you know it's a lot more animals who die in those fields to make the food for the cow than if we just ate that directly so like the vegan beyond burger um creates um uh, or or uses nine 93% less land, you know, 93% less land. And then um, most soy is is for animal agriculture, is for that. So 90% of U.S. soybeans are used for animal agriculture as feed for those cows. And that's coming from the American Soy Association. And globally, 77% um, of global soy is fed to cows for meat and dairy production. So... Um, you know, so the idea is like, yeah, vegans, we're not perfect. You know, we, we know we're not perfect, not, but we're trying to reduce the amount of suffering that we cause and not cause direct intentional harm if we can avoid it, you know, and hopefully one day we'll have a world where all of our farms are indoor so that the, the, the all the plant farms are inside so that little bugs and critters can't get inside to get to the plants to eat them. They'll, uh, so we won't need pesticides and stuff like that to protect our crops. But in the meantime, we've got to eat something. We don't have to eat animals, but we do have to eat plants in order to be healthy. And so, and by eating plants, we're killing less animals. So there you go. Um, so it 